Let me conclude. The Prophet said, when I see your amal on the right side, Hamidullah, I thank Allah. And he says, وَإِيَّتُهُ شَرًّا And if I see that you have committed bad deeds in the week, Allahu Akbar, whether you ask for mercy or not, he says, Astaghfartu lakum, I pray to Allah, Oh Allah, forgive the sins of my ummah. <laughs> now tell me, if you say Nabi can't do anything in his, his, in his grave, is the Nabi going to do something for you? Is he going to do something for you? If you say he can't do anything, is he going to do... Even if he can do something for you, if you don't even believe in him, even if, you don't, even if you don't respect him, you don't give him his due. Do you think he's going to do that for you? No. Those who love him, those who respect him, those who have that real love for him, he will do for them. Why? Because he knows that their link is with them. That is why the whole aqidah of the Ahl Sunnah wal Jamal, whether you talk of ilm e ghaib whether you talk of Hazr Nazir, whether you talk of his living, whether you talk of Salat wa Everything revolves around the living of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Ahl Sunnah wal Jamaat believe that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, yes, in physical form he is not before us. But just because he is not before us in physical form, does that does not mean that he cannot benefit us? His benefit continues the way it continued for the Sahaba at that time. But his uh, physical existence was only so that he could give the physical book. But his benefit, which he has to give to people who are his ummati, continues not only on the day of judgment but all the way up to the day of judgment. That is why we believe in the Prophet ﷺ being living. We read Salat wa Salam for him to forge our contact with him, to strengthen our contact with him. And you can only strengthen contact if you have true love for him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me and you the true love for Rasulullah And now if there are any questions and answers, inshallah. You may well be shy, I don't blame you, but uh, I'm supposed to be more shy than you. Just because I've got a mic doesn't mean that I'm now. And I suddenly, or as they say, up no more confident than you. Just because you've been trained not to speak out of respect to elders doesn't mean now you can't ask questions. You can ask any question on any topic, inshallah. I can see it's going to take a bit of time to break this ice. I can see when I first went to, uh, uh, um, you know, some places, people are shy. But the more you get to know, the more you'll see that asking questions is no problem. If somebody doesn't have a question now, inshallah, we'll carry on with the rest of the gathering. Inshallah. Yes.